Hey everybody, RetroPyGuy here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up and customize the splash screens in RetroPie. This is a great way to customize your system. If you're not sure exactly what a splash screen is, a splash screen refers to the pictures or videos displayed while your Raspberry Pi is first booting up. This populates in prior to your emulation station ROM load-in. Now, if you've bought a RetroPie Guy game collection card or one of our packages, you'll notice that the splash screen by default is our logo. And it's super easy to change this, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna eject our micro SD card from our Raspberry Pi. Make sure that your Raspberry Pi is fully shut down and powered off prior to doing this to avoid any chance of a corruption to the card. And now we're gonna put our micro SD card into our regular computer. Now you can put it into a PC, a Mac, or the Raspberry Pi 400, which is what I'm gonna be doing for this demo today. You will need a micro SD card reader that plugs in through the USB port on your computer to connect your micro SD card. Now I've just booted up my Raspberry Pi 400 with my Raspberry Pi OS. I'm gonna take my micro SD card, insert it into my micro SD card reader, and plug that into my USB port. Now the process is the same regardless of what computer you use. So once you insert that, you'll get a um, prompt here that says, do you wanna open this file? We'll go ahead and select OK. If you do this on a PC or Mac, it's going to be the same thing. It might be a different message, but same thing's going to happen. You can also go in and open this manually as well without going through that first prompt. So now once we're in, we're going to go into the RetroPie section of this card, which is right here. We're going to jump into the Home folder, then the Pi folder, and then the RetroPie folder. Now we're going to jump into Splash Screens, which is our last folder here. And if you've bought one of our cards, you'll actually already have the um, splash screen image in here already. So you can right click on that and delete it. I've already taken it out for this demo today. And I'm actually gonna put it right back in, it's the same one here. So now you would go through your computer, you're gonna pull whatever image or video you wanna insert in and um, put as your splash screen option. Now you can put multiple things in there to try out. You know, if you have a whole list of um, pictures that you want to see which looks best as a splash screen, you can put as many as you want in here. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this file over. This is my uh, logo splash screen. So we just drag that over, drop it into this folder here, and that's all we have to do. It's a super simple process here, and that's all we need to do on our computer. So we can X out. Uh, you can either power down your computer or eject your card. I'm going to eject it here. Uh, make sure you just don't, you know, rip out your uh, micro SD card reader from your USB port while your computer is still powered on. Make sure you safely eject it just to avoid any chance of a corruption to your card. And then we're going to insert this back into our Raspberry Pi and boot up. All right, so once our RetroPi image has fully booted up, we're going to go into the configuration settings page here. So I'm going to select A on my gamepad controller. And we're going to go down to splash screens option, which is the second to last right above Wi-Fi. And we'll go ahead and select A on that to open splash screens up. Now here's where we're going to choose what splash screen we want to go with. Now here we're going to see our two different options here. So we can either go with what we manually put into our files in the previous step on the computer, or we can go with something that's already pre-installed on RetroPie. So if we want to preview splash screens, we can go to um, option seven down here. And this is going to give you a preview of all of our different options. So if we select A here and open this up, we can either see a single splash screen, view a slideshow of all the splash screens, or play video splash. So we're just going to view a single one here. And now it's going to give us our two options. So we, option one is going to be the pre-installed splash screens that are already on RetroPie. And option two is going to be whatever we put in manually into our file. So, the, so option two is gonna be all of our customizations. So let's see what RetroPie has to offer for their pre-installed splash screens. So we'll select option number one here just to preview these. And if we go in, we can click on each one here. So this is option number one, nothing special here at all. Um, in order to go back from this preview, we're actually gonna hit X on our controller. We can go into option two, see what this one is. Again, nothing fancy here. This one's not bad. I think uh, option four is actually a full screen version of that. So that's probably one of the better ones on here. 
Um, and then this one here is not bad too. I think the next option down is just the full screen version, yeah. All right, so these this is all that comes pre-installed on RetroPie. Those last two options weren't bad. I think the first two were uh, pretty crappy, but we'll go back to our custom options here. So we'll again hit view single splash screen. And if we hit option two, this is where our custom files that we already entered in the previous step are gonna be found. So if we select that, it opens this up. So here I only have the one that I added over. You'll have whatever you added over on your end. Um, it could be one option or however many files you put in there. So the only thing is I would label those. Um, I should have mentioned that previously, just so you know what they are, because it's not gonna give you, I mean, obviously you can preview it, but it definitely makes it easier if you label exactly what the files are. So if we hit okay here, we can preview this one. So this is just our logo. Um, the default uh, splash screen that we have on all of our cards. So we'll back out of this. So this was just the preview section. So if we hit cancel here, cancel again, we'll go back to the main options page here. So in order to set your splash screen, you're gonna take option one here. So we'll select A on our gamepad, and here we're gonna choose the option. So you're gonna choose whether you wanted the pre-installed splash screens or your custom one. I'm gonna do the custom one just to set this up again. So I'll choose option two, and you're just gonna select which splash screen you want. I only have the one option, that's what I'm gonna select. If you have a bunch, just pick which one you wanna go with and hit okay. It's gonna say splash, splash screen set. So we'll select okay to confirm it, and that's all we have to do. It's a super easy process. And you can actually go in, you can update um, RetroPie splash screens, you might, depending on where you are in the update process, if you're, um, you know, kind of behind on, on stuff, then you might find some new stuff in there. Currently, there's not a whole lot to choose from, but this might change depending on when you're watching this video. So you could go through there and check those out. Uh, you can add videos to a whole bunch of different options that you can do here, but this will give you the basic layout of how to go in and change your splash screen. So we can hit cancel here to back out and go to our main settings page. And we're all set. So if you go in and you hit your main menu and you go to quit and you can either restart um, system or shut down and then reboot, you'll see your splash screen will load in prior to your emulation station ROMs loading in. And uh, you'll know at that point that everything is good to go. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. I just wanna show you guys exactly how to go in to the splash screen settings and you know either set it up or customize it however you'd like to go about doing that. So if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different tutorials and gameplay demos from our game collection cards and console packages. And of course you can find us online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.